Hello, and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our second GIMP tutorial. Visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. Alright, well today we're going to go over GIMP's user interface. And uh, you know, the first thing we're going to go over will be the toolbar, the toolbox over here to the left. And, you know, depending on how you have your GIMP set up, you know, the toolbox could be to the right, it could be to the left, it could be anywhere. Everything is totally free here. Uh, you know, usually GIMP will start with multiple windows, one, two, or three, at least two, as a matter of fact. You're always going to have your toolbox and your main workspace here. On the top of the workspace, you have your file, edit, select, view, image, layer, colors, tools, filters, window, and help bar up here at the top. And in the toolbox, you have all kinds of tools that we can work with. We're not going to be able to go over all these tools in this tutorial, but we're going to just kind of cover them briefly you know as an overview in general you know you have the selection tools this magic wand here you've got all kinds of stretching and skewing options you've got magnification panning text fill gradients uh, pen pencil eraser airbrush uh, ink here you've got all kinds of stuff uh, you know you can clone um, blur and sharpen smudge and by the way the smudge tool if you're an, an artist uh, and you do any kind of other design, especially with Inkscape or something like that, and you import it into GIMP, you are going to love the smudge tool because it just, you'll, you'll see later and I will show you how this works in depth. And you've of course got your dodge and burn tool. And you might notice that a lot of this stuff is uh, similar to what you'll find in Photoshop. And as a matter of fact, if you didn't realize it already, GIMP is the open source equivalent to Photoshop. So uh, there's no need to go out and pay $600 for a Photoshop. That makes me cringe to think about. With GIMP, you can get it for free. And if you haven't figured out how to get GIMP for free, go, fi go find our first tutorial and uh, on GIMP, and you can learn exactly how to get it for free from GIMP.org. Uh, anyway, let's continue with the user interface here. Uh, on the toolbox you have several other areas um, and you'll notice here at the bottom we have this color area right here this is not always a color area and by the way when you first get GIMP it's probably not gonna look like this it's gonna look a little bit different you might have a toolbox and then you might have some brush options and another window don't let your heart be troubled because I'm gonna show you that none of that matters all these windows are uh, customizable completely and I'm gonna show you how to do that today so look here at these little windows here and you notice that these are arranged in tabs we've got brushes here we've got uh, color hue saturation value at red green and blue you can adjust all these and this is the only in GIMP interface here um, this is CMYK, which of course is cyan, magenta, yellow, and key, which key is black if you didn't know. Um, here is uh, you know, another type of color picker, and here's the familiar wheel and triangle that you would see in a program like Inkscape. If you already use Inkscape, you will be very familiar with this, and this one, and this one. So I like the GIMP one, honestly. Uh, so I do keep it there. Then we've got this paintbrush thing here and uh, really it just depends on what type of tool you've got here we go to the smudge tool dodge burn tool eraser tool and you see that this changes along with whichever tool you are using currently and this is going to be so that you can edit the different parameters of that tool you know you can scale up and down the size of the brush and apply all kinds of functions to the brush that will make it uh, do more what you want it to do. This here is the layers panel and uh, you know right off the bat know that there's way more than just these. Let's go over here to the main workspace window and usually there will be a canvas here. Right now there's not because we don't actually have a file open. If you want to open a new file, go to file, new. You can choose from a template. You can use a custom image size in pixels, inches, millimeters, points, picas, or more. And then you have your advanced options here. We're not going to mess with the advanced options right now. We're just going to leave it how it is and click OK. And as you see, it opens up a new 
canvas here that you can work with. So let's go to uh, Window and Dockable Dialogues. This is where you're going to get all these dialogues here that you see at the top here. Okay, Windows, Dockable Dialogues, Layers, Channels, Path, Color Math, Histogram, all kinds of stuff here that you can use. And if you choose one, it opens it up just like this. It's a separate window. Now, what if we want to? Now, what if we want to dock it and note that it is a dockable dialog? What you do is you're going to grab it, not there, but here. Grab it on the gray area right here, and then it becomes dockable. And you can dock it anywhere you like. Let's excuse me. Let's put it right just like just like this. Now, now as you can see, paths are part of the dialog options here on the toolbox. And I accidentally closed my other window here. Let me get that reopened for you. All right, excuse my messy desktop there. And uh, we got um, so now you can see how that can be added. You can also add these dialog boxes in another way. You can click here go to add tab and you can add any of these dialogs here you can have as many windows as you want you can dock these dialog boxes together so you can have another toolbox type deal or a dialog box over here if you wanted to you can split your your workspace up into three different areas if you want to or more if you've got monitor real estate um, of course I don't I'm just working on a laptop right now so this is all I've got um, and I think this is gonna be about all we can cover in this video so check out our next GIMP tutorial which will be coming out very shortly. Thanks so much for watching.